G'day guys and girls, how you going? It's your boy Jable1990 and oh my god I'm excited. Um, I hope you guys can hear me okay. This is being recorded off my, my actual camera this time, my digital camera. Um, so I just actually just want to focus in here a little bit because there we go. I got my mic guys. I told you it wasn't going to take that long. Um, I just realized I'm going to have to blur out what was on this package because my address was on it. But um, yeah, this is just the package. Um, and let me just... I'll just quickly cover this up just so you can't see it. It's a pretty pretty decent box size, like it's pretty beefy. It's actually pretty heavy, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rip it open. I'm just gonna block you guys way just so you can't see the address and stuff. <laughs> so I'm just gonna open this up. Actually I actually need a knife. I'm really excited about this because as you guys know, these things they broke. They're my old Turtle Beach PX21s. <laughs> It's a real shame that they broke too. I'm just gonna rip this open. But yeah, let's get that out of the way. But I am actually um, getting a boom stand, which if any of you guys don't know what it is, I'll put I'll put a quick picture up to the screen right now. That's what a boom stand is. It's just to save room on my desk. Some random packaging. Oh here we go. So yeah, uh, the boom stand's gonna add a lot of good um, quality. You know, it's um it's going to have a shock mount to it as well, so any bumps and stuff I make on the desk, you guys won't hear that. And what I've got there, if you guys didn't uh, know, it's a pop filter for the microphone. That's the only thing I've got. I've got the microphone itself and the pop filter. It's hard to open. There we go. Oh, I finally got it. There it is. So, this is the... Let me just let that focus for a sec. This is the Audio-Technica... AT2020. It's a USB mic, which is why I got it. It just plugs directly into my PC. So let's get this thing open. Um, now some of you guys might actually ask me why I didn't get the Blue Yeti. Because the Audio Technica AT2020 and the Blue Yeti audio-wise are pretty much the exact same. Uh, and what I mean by that Some of you guys might even know how good mics are or what the specs are, but let me just see if I can find something in the box here. Ah, uh, there. Let me see. I'll try to get this to focus real quick. There. See it? Oh, kind of. Come on, camera. See how it says cardioid condenser microphone? Cardioid is a type of audio frequency that um, allows the microphone to draw into itself. So if I just, I'll just get this to focus again. So that's what the... Um, the audio, this is what the AT2020 has, and that's what the Blue Yeti has, but the Blue Yeti, Blue Yeti has about three different features as well, which I would never use anyway. Now, we'll get this thing open. I'm really excited for this. This is a full proper microphone. Oh, I've always wanted one of these things. Okay, so I've got the registration card. This is brand new too. Uh, just a whole bunch of manuals. What's on this? Nothing. All good. And, oh yes, look at this, oh wow, that is actually, that is legit actually pretty heavy. Uh, I'll get it out of the packaging here, that's, that's really heavy, it feels very, um, very, very solid. So I'll just show you guys this here, and um, get the camera to focus. So this is, this is the mic itself, really, really nice, it's really heavy, now if I put it up to the light, like something if you have something like, like that cardboard, you can kind of see it's got like this bubble in there. That's the condenser microphone itself. So now this is the front face of the microphone. Now what cardioid means is that it has like this little channel. So from this point here coming out in a diagonal, and this point here going out diagonal that way, pretty much towards your face, is where it will receive and suck in most of the sound into that cardio, uh, cardio, cardioid condenser microphone right in the middle there. So the voice is going to sound really, really nice. So I'm going to give you guys... um an audio test when I get this thing set up. Really weighty. Um, the paint's really nice. A lot of picky people get really picky with... Let me see if I can get a super close up of this. Hopefully the camera focuses. I don't know if you can see them. But there's tiny little black spots right here on the microphone from the paint itself. But um, stuff like that is so minor. I mean, you can't complain with this. USB is on the bottom there. So you guys can see that. 
That's the USB port. It goes from here directly into your computer. That's not a typical USB port, by the way. It's um, designed for audio. Um, it's really, really nice. So let's put this back in here real quick. So it comes with this little carry pouch as well. I don't know if you're over the... Oh, can you get that to focus again? Comes with this carry pouch just in case, I don't know, if you ever travel and, you know, this is, uh, this microphone is specifically uh, built as well for recording of all kinds. So, you know, if you're traveling you're like a musician or something like that, it's great. Uh, this is going to have the USB cord and stuff in it, I guess, yeah. There's a USB cord. Guessing it's going to be really, <laughs> really long. Uh, let's actually just have a quick look at that and we'll see how long it is. Uh, I'm so excited to use this thing. Whoa, yeah, that's long. That's really long. But um, you can see, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, the typical... Let the camera focus in a little bit again. The typical USB cords, this is not. Didn't focus on my hand. There we go. So you got the... Um, this is the port that goes in your computer. This side right here. And this is the, the port that goes actually in to the bottom of the microphone. Just like that clips in there and then you put this microphone into your computer so I think that's really going to pretty much do it for everything that's in the content um, it should have a little tripod in here yep that's a little tripod and stuff I'll get it hooked up and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like on the desk and how it sounds it's going to be awesome alrighty guys so this is what it looks like when it's set up um, you can see that it's on it's got this really cool blue looking light um, I'm still right now don't get confused I'm still using the ca uh, the the microphone that's on the camera. I'm about to switch over into a second and um, <clears throat> I've got the little pop filter here. This is how it'll sit. This is on the little tripod so when you hear me talk in a second it's gonna sound very echoey uh, like you'll hear, oh not very, but you'll hear a very slight echo sound and you'll hear a lot of other different stuff like the birds outside and that kind of stuff. That's just because the tripod is connected to the desk. This desk acts like a gigantic vibrator stereo speaker type thing so it's going to pick up all the like if I'm what I'll do is I'll tap I'll tap and test and show you guys that it, like it'll it'll actually pick up the sounds so um yep that's pretty much the mic I'm just going to show you this is what it'll look like once you got the pop filter down over the front of it something like that doesn't really fit on this stand properly I had to kind of force it to fit but it sits there nicely nice in front of my desk I don't have to have a headset on um I'll just have a headset on and, and do it that way so I'll show you guys what it's, this is exactly what the mic will sound like once you're using it. So here we go guys, this is the mic test for the Audio Technica AT2020. Getting a little bit of lag here, we're on the MyPlex server and this is just me talking normally. Currently there's no noise going on in the background but if I like tap and stuff on the desk, like just like that, you can hear that. Um, maybe even like just banging, like just really really faint stuff. That's why I'm getting a shock mount and a... Um, and a boom stand for it because you won't be able to hear that kind of stuff but the audio is just fantastic it sounds great um, definitely a good substitute good for the money I would definitely pick one up and if you if you're after something like this um, like me where you don't want it to take up much much desk room it's probably only about like not even three quarters of the size of the blue yeti so this is pretty much the mic test guys is what we're going to be using from now on so leave a like if you enjoy it and hopefully you know if you guys are after a mic i would definitely recommend this one it sounds absolutely great so thank you guys so much for watching and if you did like it you can probably hear everyone else talking in the background <laughs> leave a like rating and i'll see you guys for the next episode